Prince Harry has been labelled as selfish and very immature for harbouring resentment over the reaction of strangers to his mother's funeral. The Duke of Sussex's biographer has told True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat the Duke should be able to now cope with the emotions surrounding Diana's tragic death. Ms. Levin told the program she was shocked to find out Harry was still hurt that other people openly mourned the loss of his mother, the Princess of Wales. Angela Levin, author of Harry. Biography of a prince told the Royal Beat that Harry is being rather selfish. She said, I was very shocked when he said yet again how much he resented all the people that were surrounding him and crying, at the funeral of Diana, Princess of Wales, because it was his mother, and they shouldn't do that. It showed that he was still very immature. I could understand when he was 12 feeling like that, and he said the same thing to me when I interviewed him in Kensington Palace, but I think that he is now 36 and he should be able to cope with it. Ms. Levin added. Walking behind his mother was hideous for him, but to resent the people who admired Diana and loved her and thought incredibly highly of her, I think it's not up to him to say who should mourn her. I think he doesn't really care what anybody else thinks. He knows that his family can't answer. Senior royal correspondent Roy Nikar adds, The Prince of Wales has really come under quite heavy fire, in terms of Harry's account of his parenting, but he has maintained a dignified silence. That's his ploy. I think that must be hard because I should think there is a lot he wants to say. If Harry feels he has really benefited from the counseling and therapy that he has had and it is opening up emotions and helping him in his new life across the pond, good luck to him. But one wonders if in order to do that do you have to publicly speak about your family in such a negative light, continued Ms. Nicker. It comes after Prince Harry was advised by a therapist to practice gratitude and not get caught in suffering as the Duke continues to speak out on mental health struggles. The mental health expert told the Us Weekly Royal podcast, I feel like Harry could be a type 4 intense creative in the Enneagram personality system, which is actually the same as me. And this is someone who wants to bear their soul and their pain and has a desire to be special and unique and not ordinary that particularly as we can see obviously Harry is someone who is breaking a lot of norms certainly as far as the royal family is concerned. So if he is a type 4, I don't know. I would say Harry go and take the Enneagram test, find out for sure. He added, but if you are a type 4 then I would say make sure to keep practicing gratitude. Keep practicing focusing on what you are grateful for. Because type 4s they can sometimes get caught too much in the pain in the darkness of suffering I believe that would be something that I would also tell him.